Blessed is our God, who is now and forever and for the ages of ages. Thank you, God. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pure and undefiled, existing before all eternity, invisible, incomprehensible, unsearchable, unchanging, surpassed by none, not to be calculated, long suffering, the only immortal one. You abide in the unapproachable light and created heaven and earth and all the creatures that inhabit them, supplying all the needs even before they ask. To you we pray, and you we entreat, much Master, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven to be incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, the glorious Theotokos. At first you taught in words, but then you showed us by deeds. When in enduring the saving passion, you gave to us your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants an example of how to offer our prayers in the bending of our heads and knees for our own transgressions and for the failings of the people. O merciful and loving Lord, hear us whenever we call upon you, but especially on this day of Pentecost, on which after our Lord Jesus Christ had ascended into the heavens, to be seated at your right hand, God and Father, he sent the Holy Spirit upon his holy disciples and apostles as he came to rest upon each of them and were filled by his overflowing grace. They spoke in strange tongues of your mighty works and prophecy. As we now pray to you, hear us and be mindful that we are lowly and deserving of judgment. Recall our souls from the bondage of sin, your own compassion, interceding for us, accept us as we kneel before you, crying the familiar I have sinned. We have been dependent on you from our mother's womb. You are our God. But because, of, because our days have been vainly squandered, we are stripped of your help without any defense. Even so, encouraged by your mercies, we cry. Remember not our sins committed in youth and ignorance, and purge our secret thoughts. Do not spurn us in old age when our strength fails us. Do not forsake us before we are returned to the earth, make us worthy to return to you and treat us with your favor and grace. Measure out your mercies against our transgressions. Contrast the depths of your pity to the multitude of our offenses. From your holy dwelling place, look down upon the people in your presence in expectation of your mercy. Visit us in your goodness. Free us from the oppression of the evil and make our lives secure within your holy and sacred laws. And trust your people to a faithful guardian, angel, ex, and gather us all into your kingdom. Grant forgiveness to those who hope in you. Remit them and us our sins. Cleanse us through the work of your Holy Spirit. Put an end to the wiles of the enemy. Blessed are you, Master Almighty Lord, for you light the day with the light of the sun and bright the night with the rays of fire. You enabled us to pass the span of the day and so come to the beginnings of the night, hear our prayer and that of all your people, and forgive us our deliberate and unwitting sins. Receive our evening petitions and send upon your inheritance the abundance of your mercy and compassion. Encompass us with the holy angels, arm us with the weapons of your righteousness, fortify us with your truth, make your strength our garrison, spare us all adverse circumstances and all assaults of the adversary. Finally, God, safe to us this evening and the impending night, perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, free of disturbing visions in all the days of our lives, through the prayers of the Holy Theotokos and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. And in that world, so shall anas ison, que the afflicts we must put theos, peace and Amen. Uh -huh. 
mercy us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to hear us and have mercy. Pious and Orthodox Christian. Nor do we stretch out our hands to any other deity, O Master. 
Remit our offenses. And as you receive our petitions on bended knee, extend it to us all a helping hand. Accept our common prayer as a pleasing fragrance, rising up to your blessed King. Lord, Lord, as you save us from every error that flies by day, protect us from everything that works in darkness. Accept the lifting of our hands as an evening sacrifice and enable us to pass the force of the night blamelessly, untempted by evil. And rid us all of, disturbance, of all disturbance and fear induced by the evil one. Grant contrition to our soul and to the, our thoughts due concern for our trial on the day of your awesome and just judgment. Transfix our bodies with awe of you and death our earthly members, so that in the quiet of sleep we may be cheered by the contemplation of your judgment. Distance from us every improper imagining and harmful desire, and stay, instead raise us up at the hour of prayer, strengthened in faith and growing in your commandments. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, raise us up and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious name, the fair and helpless and ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves, one another, in our whole life to Christ our God. By the favor and grace of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. All together, O oh Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify as your name to the ages. Amen. O oh Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again, on bended knees, let us pray to the Lord. The never failing spring, bursting with life and life, created power to eternal with the Father. You fulfilled surpassingly the plan for the salvation of humankind, shattering the unbreakable bonds of death and the bolts of hate, and trampling the throngs of evil spirit. You presented yourself as a blameless victim for us, offering your pure body, chaste and untouched by sin, in sacrifice, and by that terrible and indescribable oblation granted us everlasting life. You descended into Hades and broke down its gates, and so journeying among those below, you showed them the way of the sect. As for the prince of evil that dragged him to deep, you snared him in an inspired world, binding him in circles of darkness, in your infinite power held him fast in the netherworld, in the eternal fire of the outer darkness. The glorious wisdom of the Father, you are the great help of those in peril, giving light to those in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord of everlasting glory, beloved Son of the Most High, Eternal light of eternal light, Son of righteousness, hear our supplications and give rest to the souls of your servants, our fathers and brothers and other kin by blood and all of the household of faith who have since fallen asleep and whose memorial we keep this day. For in you is the strength of all, and in your hand you hold the far reaches of the earth. Almighty Master, God of our fathers and merciful Lord of the living and the dead, Creator of all mortal nature, composed and again dissolved of life and of death, of earthly existence and of the departure from heaven. You measure out the years for the living and set times for death. You bring about, you bring down to Hades and raise up, fettering in weakness and liberating in power. You provide aptly for the present and fitting dispose, and fittingly dispose what is to come, restoring those who are wounded by the sting of death with the hope of the resurrection. Master, Lord of all, our God and Redeemer, the hope of all at the ends of the earth and far away at sea, on this latter and great saving day of Pentecost, you disclose to us the mystery of the holy, consubstantial, for eternal and life-giving trinity, indivisible yet distinct, from the descent and presence of your holy and life-giving spirit, for now its grace upon your apostles in the form of fire and fire, 
make them as proclaimers and confessors of our holy faith, of true God, knowledge of God, on this universal and salutary feast, deign to accept our petitions for those imprisoned in hate, thus giving us great hope and relief to the departed from their grievous distress and their comfort. Hear us, humble and pitiable, as we pray to you, and give rest to the souls of your servants, you who have departed this life in a place of light, in a place of renewed light, a joyous place, shun the light by pain and sorrow and sighing, and place their spirits where the righteous dwell, counting them worthy of peace and repose. For the dead do not praise you, Lord, nor do those in Hades dare to offer you glory, but it is we, the living, who bless and entreat you and offer you propitiator prayers and sacrifices for their souls. O oh God, the great, eternal, holy, and loving, having deemed us worthy to stand at this hour in the presence of your unapproachable glory, to sing in praise of your wondrous acts, be graces to your worthy servants, and grant us grace to offer to you in contrition of heart the thrice holy doxology of thanksgiving for the great gifts you have bestowed upon us, and continue always. Lord, be mindful of our weakness, and do not let us be lost in our wrongdoing. But show mercy as we humble ourselves, so that escaping the darkness of sin, we may have a day of justice, and girded with the armor of light, we may live free of the assaults of the evil one, and so with courage glorify the only true and loving God in all things. Truly great is your mystery, Master and Maker of all, of the temporary separation of your creatures, to be united again in everlasting rest. We confess your grace in all things, for our entrances into this world and our departures, of which our hope of resurrection and life of bliss according to your promise are the guarantee. May we enjoy it in your future second coming, for you are both the pioneer of our resurrection and the just, but in the just but compassionate judge of our lives and master and lord of our world. In, the, in ultimate condescension, you shared in our flesh and blood and in our passions willingly assumed them in the depth of your compassion, so that you, so that having yourself been tempted, you offered yourself freely as a helper to us who are also tempted. Thus you united us all to you in your freedom from passion. Will you then, Master, accept our prayers and entreaties and give rest to everyone's fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and children, or of the same family or people, and all the souls that have gone before us to their rest in the hope of resurrection to eternal life, and place their spirits and their names in the book of life, the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the land of the living, in the kingdom of the heavens, in the bliss of prayer and paradise, your angels of light leading all into your holy mansions, and on the day you have ordained, raise up our bodies as well according to your unfailing promises, in departing our bodies to dwell in you, O oh God, there is no death for your servants, Lord, but rather a change from the more sorrowful to the better and more pleasing to rest, to joy. And if we have in any way sinned against you, be merciful to them and to us. For no man is free of stain in your sight, though he lived but a day. Only you who came sinless to this earth, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we all hope to find mercy and remission of sins. Thus, as good and loving God, remit and forgive them and us our failings, whether winning or unwitting, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, intentionally or unaware, in deed or in thought, in word, in all goings about, both to those who have gone before us and to us who await, give release and repose, granting us and all your people a good and peaceful end, opening up to us your heart of love and mercy at your terrible and awesome coming in judging us worthy of your kingdom. Great the most high God, you alone are immortal, abiding in unapproachable light, in which you created the world, you separated the light from the darkness, and set the sun, the greater light, to rule the day, and the lesser light, the moon, and the stars, to rule the night. You have judged us, those sinners, you have judged us worthy, those sinners, at this present hour, to come into your presence, giving thanks and offering you our evening praise. Loving Lord, let our prayer rise like incense before you, and accept it as a fragrant offering. Make this evening and the coming night be peaceful for us. Gird us with the armor of light, deliver 
us from the terror of the night and from everything that lurks about in darkness. And let our sleep, which you have given us for rest, given our weakness, be free of all demonic images. Yes, Master of all, source of all blessings, so that as, even as we slumber in our beds, we may speak your name in the night, and so be enlightened by the contemplation of your statutes. May we rise, our souls rejoicing, to glorify your goodness, offering prayers and supplications to your compassion for our sins and for those of all your people, asking that at the intercession of the Holy Theophilus, you will show them mercy. And the love of the Lord, 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 the the Lord, 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 Gali Iana and Anapas is some sheep on Kippa Somat and Monkey City Dos and the Bell Woman, but we can do your own way of everybody. In Kiai case to say on us to lay on the Lord. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace.
Mass and Melody Service Department, please, according to your word, the minds of senior salvation, to have prepared for the presence of all people. I'd like to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of the people of Israel altogether. Holy God, holy mind, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mind, holy Lord.
I just wanted to uh, share with you the joy of being able to celebrate this feast, our feast of our parents with you. I will tell you this last week at the, at the festival, there were uh, many people interested in coming to church this week. Uh, I gave them a short warning that it was Father's Day in Pentecost. Uh, and so if they would like to have a normal Sunday, come a different week. Uh, but if they wanted to receive the, the biggest blessing, the longest Sunday of the church year, come this week. So I can see that not as many people listen uh, or wanted that full entire blessing. But thank you to you who have come. You're going to come forward to receive the blessing of reverence in the icon as well as a divino. And uh, we have some refreshments inside for everyone on Father's Day. Uh, so God bless you and happy Father's Day to all of the fathers. And uh, thank you for the bread that you're bringing out now. Thank you. 